if you can understand anxiety you can overcome it very easily now anxiety is all about you getting ahead of yourself you getting ahead of your time for example a person texts you now your mind starts running it goes in many directions it thinks about many different possibilities it starts fantasizing it starts creating fake scenarios this is anxiety this is how anxiety works so if you want to overcome anxiety you need to stop going ahead of yourself or the present moment it is distorting the reality by wild imaginary scenarios when you stop making imaginary scenarios your anxiety comes in control and the thing is when we are facing anxiety we do not have any control over what we are thinking the mind is just too turbulent and it goes in its own way and we cannot simply have any kind of speed breakers to it right so at that time all you have to do is um you need to do some digging you need to find the root cause of what is creating so much thoughts in you what is creating so much analysis what is creating so much imagination and you will find that it is fear you will have some kind of fear which is triggering this million thoughts okay so it could be fear of being alone fear of people leaving you fear of failing fear of standing up for yourself fear of having ambition for yourself fear of making money even the positive things for some people are negative things because they have negative associations with it and now understand this the mind distorts reality meaning you have created 100 different scenarios that didn't actually happen so for example you are in a relationship and the other person said something which created a lot of anxiety in you now your mind has created 100 different scenarios thinking about all the possibilities that they are going to leave you abandon you they are going to hurt you they are going to manipulate you etc etc now your mind doesn't understand the difference between reality and imagination this is called a synthetic experience your mind cannot differentiate between what is imagined and what is real so now for you a hundred events have actually taken place and your mind behaves in that way but for the other person those things didn't even happen so when you confront with such anxiety to other people they are in this belief that what are you even talking about these things even did, didn't even happen and what another example is that you are texting with someone and because texting doesn't involve physical cues of what we are thinking and our emotions body language etc it creates a lot of illusion you might be at a level where you do not have any attachment to the other person but because the other person is reading a text in his own ways it creates attachment for that other person so you th- you realize this anxiety creates imagination and imagination makes you feel as if those things happened to you so if you have fought with a person one time but you are replaying that memory in your head a hundred times for you the reality becomes that you are having the fight with the other person a hundred times but for the other person it is only one time so it is much more bigger in your mind it is much more worse in your mind and it impacts your reality it impacts the way you conduct uh, yourself in the relationship your anger will be disproportionate your resentment will be disproportionate everything you do will be disproportionate so to control anxiety all you have to do is realize the underlying fear overcome that fear and make it a rule that you do not go one step ahead right you stay in the present and don't let your mind run in the white directions it can be as simple as that you are sitting somewhere or you are taking a walk and your mind starts to create fake scenarios now you stop it because you realize that it will create your reality that those things didn't happen in existence so stop it think about something else use distraction so i hope this helps you understand what anxiety is and how to save yourself from anxiety i will see you in the next video